Hello guys, welcome back. It's good to see you, everybody. Hello, Wendy, Roxana, Cynthia. Gabriela, good to see you, maybe. And Alejandro, my name is Connecty. Welcome, welcome back. So let's get started with the lesson. We had a great week. A great day. So let's go with the lesson that we have for today. And uh, in this in this lesson, we're going to learn um, more daily activities, and also we are going to be learning the frequency adverbs and the positions that they have in sentence using for sure the simple present. Okay, let's go and uh, study this step. Vamos a empezar with the activity that we have pending from yesterday. Um, let me check who is missing. Veamos que nos hace falta. Andrea is here, Andrea. Let's see. no. Maybe is here, maybe. Hello. Professional and shipper. Person who mothers their hints to be photographed in advertising campaign are an average salary of five one thousand gracias <laughs> okay yeah the professional right okay perfect thank you maybe so we have the next one that gabriela step gabriela i think i'm not quite sure if you are missing gabriela yes but only one the last one okay the last one go ahead please yeah. good <laughs> Permítame, estoy buscando la presentación. Se prepara también Stephanie. No sé si Stephanie is here. No yet. Ok, Alison está. Is here Alison? No yet, Alison. Raquel también, right? Eh, Raquel, get ready. Si no está Raquel, no, no está. Ok, so. Um, Gabriela. Eh, pero no puedo compartir, no me deja. The last one is pet food tester. And this job evaluate the nutritional value of a pet food, determine ways to improve new pet foods, evaluates the smell and taste of food, evaluate its taste, texture, and consistency. And they can hear from 34,000 to 1,000. ¿Cómo sería 100 mil? 100,000. 100,000 dólares al año. Ok, that's a lot of money. I wish I could do that job. Yo sería hacer that job. But let's. Hmm. Ok, go ahead, please. ¿Nos hace falta? Is there something? That's it. Ok, perfecto. So we have evaluate the nutritional and the terms, right? The quality of the food. Okay. Interesting job. So we have, I don't know if there is somebody that didn't present yesterday that is ready. No. No. Okay, perfect. So let's continue with the lesson. 
and um, we are talking about the daily activity. So we have, we finish this and let's go with some verbs we have. These verbs can help you to describe the daily activities. And uh, we have the first one that is get up, right? Get up, get up. And uh, then we have uh, a shower. We have also number three, brush my teeth. And uh, then we have the shave, right? Shave. Number four, right? Shave. Then we have get dressed. And you girls get dressed. And uh, then um, we have uh, number six, wash my face, right? And seven, put on makeup. Makeup, so right? Put on makeup. And uh, then we have comb my hair, comb right, and you use your hair. Then we have uh, make bed, or the Nabla Kama make bed. And we have then number 11 that is get undressed. Get undressed. And uh, then we have number 12 that it is bath, take a bath, then we have go to bed, we say the camera, right? then we have the verb sleep, y los verbos que utilizamos to prepare to make breakfast, make lunch too, también, el almuerzo, then we have number 17, cook or make dinner, preparar la cena too, then we have uh, eat or have lunch, eh, que sería almorzar. Then we have 19, and, uh, and 19, that it is lunch, right? That it is el almuerzo, and then the dinner, que es cuando estamos cenando. I don't know if you have questions about the, the verbs, or are we okay with the verbs? Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia? In el eight in night brush y comb brush my hair my hair brush uh, uh -huh. cepillarse, es, es cepillarse los dientes it's the same verb lo que cambia es no, de en el ocho y en el nueve eight brush okay brush um, I'm not quite sure in fact but quizás lo que cambia es el peine puede hacer uh, something like that. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Any other guys? Any other? No? Okay. So we have these verbs, right? Is there somebody who wants to read the verbs? I mean, get an endless verb the verbs. Mm -hmm. Volunteers who wants to read the, the verbs? Okay, Andrea, thank you. Can you start, please, Andrea, number one. Uh, get up, mm -hmm. take a shower, brush my teeth, uh, say, mm -hmm. get dressed, wash my face, put on my makeup, uh, brush my heart, comb my heart, make the bed, get on dressed, take a but go to the bed, sleep, make breakfast, make a lunch, mm -hmm. cook, make a dinner, eat, have a breakfast, eat, have a lunch, eat, have a dinner. Have dinner. Just remember that, madre, we're going to say, all right, have dinner. 
that is the expression is invented by happier. Uh, happier. Okay, perfect. Tenemos acá some other words. Um, maybe was Gabriela, right? Okay, and we have brush, right? That depends, right? That it is a PR, and then we have comb that it is penalty. So, okay, we have um, the difference about these two verbs. Okay, any other? Who wants to read, guys? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, iniciar, ¿cómo se diría? Yo, uh, inicio. I start. Mm -hmm. I start. I day. Uh, si nos referimos a las rutinas, I start my day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, vaya, por ejemplo, decir este... Inicio mis labores o inicio a trabajar o inicio mi. Mm -hmm. mi start, work, working. start working at 7 a.m. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. So here's some of Thank the... you. You're welcome. So let's continue with some activities. So we have here the routines of these persons. So can you help me with? The first one, Alejandra, please. The first one, breath on air. Breath on air. Well, 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 um, ready and bossy. I, I, permítame, teacher, que no alcanzo a ver. Okay. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready and bossy. Mm -hmm. Get up. I get, I get, I am no I get up early. Mm -hmm. I check my email mm -hmm. and I listen to the radio. ¿Cómo se dice radio? Radio. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? Radio. Radio. And then in study. Okay. Okay. Well, tenemos entonces pretty right. Very pretty. Easy. And then we have a study. Then study. I study. Mm -hmm. then okay. I study. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's check Jennifer's Lee routine. Can you help me, Roxana? Uh, oh, I don't like morning. Our house is no noise. My sister watches TV and my brother play game on the computer. Okay, so we have the noisy, right? So noise, muy ruidoso, right? Noisy. And uh, yes, that one, maybe it's the one word. Okay, what about the next it's one? Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the mean of noisy? Uh, ruidoso, so noisy. Okay, ruidoso. thank you. So let's go with Amanda's Sanchez routine. Can you help me, uh, Wendy, please? Amanda. It is crazy. We, uh, we get up late, mm -hmm. so I eat breakfast in the car. My husband doesn't have a breakfast. He drives. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. So we have Amanda's routine. We get up late, tarde. So, so, así que. O entonces. Uh, maybe that one. Okay, what about Alex Stern's routine? Can you help me, uh, Andrea, please? Alex Stern routine. Mm -hmm. well, well, I have a breakfast and my wife has a coffee. We both read the newspaper. We are, we are Really cute. We don't talk a lot. Okay, we are talking very quiet, right? Really quiet. 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 
some of the stomach and really dry. They don't talk too much. Okay, we need to do this war. A breathing. But then it goes into paddles, depending on the context. So, que te diga, ah, bueno, bueno, that is like, well, well. Well. Se utiliza la well. O como que digamos, bueno. Pero como exclamation, right. Teacher, what is the meaning? Mm -hmm. Pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. En ese caso sería muy callado. Somos muy tranquilos. Muy callados. Tenemos la otra palabra, both. Right? Es ambos. Both. Both of us. Oh. 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 Right. So there you have some of the words, right? And teacher, in the in the in the pintura, na, eh, ahí habla where are pretty quit quit. Oh, ¿cómo se dice? oh quiet, quiet, quiet. 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 Yes, quiet. ¿Qué significa eso? Quiet. Significa algo que es muy tranquilo. Eh, yes, tranquilo. Escuché silencioso también. Yes, tranquilo. O silencioso también. Okay. Quiet. Okay. Any other guys? Quiet. Quiet. Yes. Quiet. Yeah. Uh, perdón. Es quiet o quiet. 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 Yeah. Okay, silencioso, tranquilo. Tranquilo. Okay, so I think so we have there some of the words that we can apply in our vocabulary. So let's go with the adverbs of frequency. We use a lot of these when we are talking about the routines. That's why it's important to check these words using. Okay, we use the adverse of frequency to describe how often something happens. We utilizamos para describir que tan seguido we use, we do some activity. We have the example, our neighbors never drive. ¿Con qué frecuencia lo hace? How often? No. We have they always ride the, their bikes. In the frequency, always same. So we have the, the adverse of frequency. We have always. What is something that you always do? For example, in Jonathan, what is an activity that you always do? Mm -hmm. What is something that you always do? I always working. 
I always work, right? Ah, okay, work. Well. Mm -hmm. I always work. I always, I always work. Pero eso es algo que lo hacemos como viernes a domingo, right? Siempre. I always eat. I always eat mm -hmm. in a breakfast, right? I always have breakfast in the morning. Breakfast. Eight in the morning. Okay. I always take mm -hmm. a shower. I always take a shower, yes. Okay, that is always. Ahora tenemos usually, that means normalmente, usualmente. Es menos frecuencia. Okay. okay, what is something that you usually do? What is something that you usually do? In the case, uh, Jose, what is something that you usually do? Usually, I am oh. este, um, okay. usually, um, hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, vamos a la iglesia, go to church, eh, eh, or read books. Sí. I am dry. I am dry. dry. I am a la playa, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, I usually go to the beach. I go to the beach, yes. Okay. You usually go to the beach. Okay, then we have uh, often, right? A menudo, con menos frecuencia que usually and always. Then we have sometimes and it was in front of right. And then we have rarely, raramente, rarely. Because no es so the pocas veces, rarely, rarely. Rarely, we do something. O casi no. Okay. Y por último, and then we have. Never, lo que usted nunca hace. Por ejemplo, I never, I never eh, smoke, right? Nunca never smoke. Okay, uh, questions about the, the adverse of the meaning? No sé si hay dudas about the meaning. No? Okay, good. Entonces, in a sentence, how can we have these frequency adverbs? Yes, Andrea. Teacher, when you use uh, adverbs of frequency with the verb to be, yeah. and when, and when, Don't use the verb to be. Do you mean to be? 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 Do you Okay, bueno, eso es lo que vamos a ver acá. With the verb to be right y con los verbos normales, right? Eso es lo que vamos a ver en this moment. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, vamos a empezar with, cuando tengamos cualquier verbo, any verb. Okay, any verb except me. Sometimes, teacher, es siempre. Eh, sometimes es algunas veces. ¿no? Algunas veces. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so we have, uh, tenemos entonces donde va a ir el adverb of frequency. El orden, the order is subject, the adverb of frequency. Y luego va a seguir el verbo, el verbo. Más que right. Tenemos, I always work. 
I always work. Si nos fijamos, el adverbio va antes del verbo. I, so that is the, the play of the adverbs of frequency. ¿Qué pasa si tenemos el verbo to be? Am, is, o are. Eh, va a ir siempre después del verbo be. Por ejemplo, I am always tired. I, you, I am usually tired. Entonces, el verbo si va a ir después del verbo to be. Por lo demás, va a ir antes del verbo. Entonces, tengamos dudas about that part. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Eh, teacher, siempre vamos a utilizar la regla de, en, la, en el primer caso, eh, los verbos en eh, he, she, it, que se le agrega la S. Ah, yes, 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 sí, siempre. Y también en los casos especiales que nos enseñó. Sí, sí dependiendo del verbo que tengamos. Ah, ok. En este caso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y siempre, el edad de los frequencies, sí, siempre es así. Okay. 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 Yes, Dennis. No sé si puede volver a explicar eh, cuándo vamos a utilizar eh, el orden del primer cuadro y cuándo el orden del segundo cuadro. Okay. Cuando tengamos cualquier verbo, cualquier verbo a excepción del verbo to be, siempre que tengamos cualquier verbo, eh, el adverbio de frecuencia va a ir antes. Okay. Pero, como en el único caso que omitimos eso, estamos hablando en cuanto al orden. Es cuando tengamos el libro to be, am, is, are, va a ir después. ¿Ok? Ese es el único cambio que vamos a ver. Únicamente con el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, no podemos decir, esto es un ejemplo de que no debemos hacer, hay... Often am tired. Okay. Si nos fijamos, el adverbio de frecuencia está antes del verbo to be y eso no lo podemos hacer. Entonces, tenemos que eh, colocarlo después, after the verb to be. I am often tired. No questions? O sea, eh, al final podríamos decir, teacher, ¿Mm? eh, al, eh, podemos decirla de las dos maneras. Entonces, I, I always work 10 hours a day. O mm -hmm. podemos decir, I am always eh, 10 hours a day. No, no, no. 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 Ok, una oración que usted acaba de decir, estamos utilizando el verbo work. Ok, ok. Entonces, como estoy utilizando el verbo work, voy a seguir la regla, ¿verdad? Sujeto hay. Después del sujeto voy a utilizar el verbo de frecuencia. En este caso, right. yeah, I always work eh, eight hours. Pero en el siguiente caso, el verbo to be no, no lo podemos utilizar en esta oración, tiene que tener otro sentido. Por ejemplo, eh, she is punctual. Entonces, acá, ¿qué, ¿qué verbo estoy utilizando? El verbo to be, right? Por esa razón, voy a utilizar el adverbio de frecuencia antes, después, sorry. He is always punctual. Uh -huh. No sé si, si, si tengamos dudas por ahí, José. Sí, es que, es que allí no, no, no entendí muy bien prácticamente. Ok. La, lo, lo único que vamos a ver cuando tengamos eh, am, is y are. Okay. Cuando tengamos estos, am, is y are. Vamos a utilizar la deuda de frecuencia después. ¿Okay? Si no tenemos esto, 
vamos a utilizarlo antes del verbo. Ok, no sé, José. Si no, vamos a practicar, ok, don't worry. Ok, ok, okay. please. Ya. Yeah. Ok, so, and I don't know, any other questions or I'll be good. Teacher, entonces, en el ejemplo que estábamos viendo, I always work eight hours, podríamos poner igual, I am work eight hours. No se le escucha. Ok. Voy a tomar la oración que me dijeron. Si tenemos esta oración, está incorrecta. No podemos tener dos verbos de esta forma. Ok. Entonces acá, ¿qué estoy diciendo? Yo soy trabajar ocho horas. Entonces, no tiene Entonces, por lo tanto, yo tengo que eliminar el verbo to be porque la oración no tiene ¿Eh? Podría ser entonces, I am always work. Ah, ok. Ese es otro, si estamos hablando de ese tiempo que ustedes lo van a ver más adelante, eh, si sí lo pudiéramos hacer pero ya eso ustedes lo van a ver más adelante, ¿va? que es el, el present continuous. I am always working. Ustedes lo van a ver más adelante ahorita. Quedémonos con lo que hemos visto. Si se fijan acá, el verbo lleva ing, pero eso lo van a ver más adelante. Ok, quedémonos con estas reglas. La regla es que no podemos tener el verbo to be y otro verbo adicional. Como esta oración que hice en este. Ok, Dennis, no sé si estás bien por ahí. Uh, teacher, entonces, este, lo último que usted acaba de decir, que uh -huh. no, eh, claro, no podemos tener dos verbos unidos. Mm, sí, en el caso del verbo to be, otro verbo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I am, I am wrong. No, no podemos tener esto, porque es incorrecto. No, tiene sentido, no tendría sentido la oración. I am play? I, no, I am play no. ¿Qué estamos? De, voy a retomar esa, esa oración. Estoy diciendo, yo soy jugar. Uh -huh. Yo soy jugar, no, no utilizamos ese tipo de, de oraciones. Ok. Sí lo van a ver, como les repito, más adelante, que van a agregar ING al verbo. ING, ok. Pero así se lo puede. Van, ah, sí, sí se puede. Pero ah, ustedes okay. lo van a ver más adelante. Okay. Okay. En el siguiente módulo lo van a ver. Okay. Pero solo de esta forma está incorrecto. Ok, I am playing. I am playing, no. No, no. no correcto. No. I am playing, sí. I am playing con ING que ustedes lo van a ver como repito. Yes. Ok. O solo... I play. play. I play. I play. I play. I play. I, I, play. I play. play. I always play football, right? Basketball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y ahí se cumple, right? El adverbio antes. Okay, questions. Or are we okay with this? Okay. ¿Qué pregunta utilizamos? What question? ¿Puedo borrar ya? Uh, yeah. The words, guys. ¿Puedo borrarlas? Teacher. ¿Hm? Podríamos ver otros ejemplos con... Eh, pues, utilizando la regla del verbo to be. Y el adverbio posteriormente. Eh, ¿Me se refiere a más reglas, Jonathan? Eh, no, no. Eh, más ejemplos, por decir, eh, el que usted mencionó, que es I am usually tired. 
Mm -hmm. Eso sí estaría bien. Sí, sí, I am usually right. I am usually... ¿Qué, ¿Qué otros ejemplos como podemos utilizar? Ok, si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, my parents, parents are always on time. Okay, tenemos más el adverbio de frecuencia y el complemento. Mis papás siempre están a tiempo o siempre son puntuales. Okay, aquí. Vamos a ver otro, por ejemplo, always responsible. Responsible. Y the homeworks. Tenemos el verbo to be, right? Y se cumple la regla que va después en el verbo de frecuencia. Dennis is always, siempre es responsable. ¿Qué pasa si tengo, si tengo el verbo go? Go. ¿Cómo poder hacer una oración ya utilizando el verbo go? Who wants to try? Agregándole S. S. La sentencia es una. I often go to the gym. Podría ser si go es de no sería she always mm, that. she always go is. goes in the world. She always goes okay. She always goes always se va antes del verbo. Okay, um, I don't know. More questions, guys, or are we okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Puedo, puedo quitar. Can I erase this, guys? Yep. Okay. So yes. let's continue. Okay, thank you. And uh, in this moment, we have uh, some um, rules, right? Tenemos algunos rules that we have to apply. Okay, so let me tell you guys si usted está interesado, for example, in, in, in what, in improving, in mejorar su speaking. Yo les recomiendo que. Uh, Go in front. Uh, you can start practicing with that person. Y la, la gramática que vemos acá le va a ayudar a practicar, right? So we have uh, the first rule using adverbs of Lo que les mencionaba, right? The adverb frequency comes after the verb to be. Porque en este nivel de frecuencia va siempre después del verb to be. En, y lo que veíamos también que va antes de ¿no? los demás verbos. Por ejemplo, rarely eat, often writes, doesn't really watch TV. Acá tenemos una oración en negativa. Okay. Okay. El verbo frequency va antes del verbo. 
Ok, tenemos entonces sometimes, usually, and often. Can come before the verb or at the beginning or end of a sentence. This is important. ¿Qué nos dice? Con los adverbios sometimes, usually, and often, pueden ir antes del verbo, al inicio de la oración o al final. Solo con sometimes, usually, and often. Ok. Ok. So, tenemos la siguiente regla. Do not begin or end sentences with always and never. Nunca debemos empezar una oración o terminarla con always y con never. Okay. Por ejemplo, no debemos hacer always your grandparents are at or your grandparents are at it never. Ok. Nunca debemos or at the end of a sentence. Hmm? Questions? No questions? No. Oh, good. So, let's see. Uh, give me a sentence using vamos a utilizar using sí de acuerdo a las reglas que ya acabamos utilizando sometimes vamos a utilizar el sitio my friends and el verbo study okay. cuáles son las tres formas en la oración utilizando sometimes uh -huh. tenemos tres formas para utilizar sometimes who wants to try this sentence my friend studies I know uh -huh. my friend sometimes studies Okay, my friends, friends, sometimes study at the university. One way, what is another way? What is otra posibilidad? Otra posibilidad. Sometimes my friends study. Sometimes my, my friends, friends study at the university. At okay. Y la última, there is no way. <coughs> ¿Cuál es la otra? My friend is study mm -hmm. at the university sometimes. My friends study in the, <laughs> at the university at the university. Sometimes. Okay, ahí está. Okay, así que tenemos these three adverbs, right? Que pueden ir al principio, antes del verbo o al final. Okay, no sé questions. No. You guys, let's continue. And now they're going to help me with this exercise. Vamos a ordenar. Okay, so we have the first. My brother is, where's the if? Let's see the frequency. Have, always happy at work. Number two. He often does not listen music. Listen to music. He often mm -hmm. doesn't listen to. Doesn't mm -hmm. listen to music. 
of M. Often, podemos dejar often ahí. Podemos dejar often sí. in. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Doesn't often. She doesn't. She doesn't. ¿Tenemos alguna otra opción with often? Recordemos que often podemos tener tres posibilidades, right? With often. ¿Qué otra posibilidad puede ser? Doesn't often. Often. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. Listen to music. That's right. He doesn't. ¿La otra forma? Podría ser he doesn't listen to music often. Perfecto. Yes. Okay, excellent. Vamos, number three. Number three. He never slowed never down. down. Yes. He never slowed down. Puedo decir, never he slows down. No. 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 No, right. Porque no, never... en el final. That's right. Okay. okay, what about number four? Here's some time. Mm -hmm. okay. Some time. What? Seven. Uh... Seven day. What are we? Mm -hmm. Um, he sometimes works. That's right. Work. He sometimes Work works. Seven mm -hmm. a week day. A week, seven weekend. Seven a week. days a week. Week. a week. A week. Seven days a week. Okay, what about number five? Rarely. 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 A day off. Yes. Day. 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 Off. Day. 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 Starts in the afternoon. In at three. At three. In the afternoon. Okay. He usually starts work at three in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? She usually turns in at eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Usually, doesn't finish. You usually doesn't doesn't finish until, until one a.m. Tengo dudas con el ah usually. Ya me lo está buscando. No sé si doesn't. He doesn't usually. Yes. Usually. ¿Qué otra forma podemos eh? Agregar el usually. Usually, he doesn't mm -hmm. finish. Until. That's right. Oh, al final, right. Usually, finish. Mm -hmm. Usually, he doesn't finish until 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about number eight? The last my, one. My brother, my brother, probably. My brother, rarely, uh -huh. is tired. No. Tired. My brother is rarely. That's right. Tired. Exacto. Como tenemos el verbo to be, right? Oh, okay. My brother, My brother is rarely. Después. Okay. Very good. Okay. And I don't know. If there is 
or if you have questions. No questions? Okay, excellent. So let's practice speaking, right? Vamos a practicar el speaking. And we are going to apply the frequency adverbs and you are going to make some descriptions, right? Okay, right now I want you to write a check in the following um, sentences. For example, in my case, I'm just giving a check, right? Uh, for example, I get eight hours of a sleep night. In my case, in my case, it's going to be sometime. Sometime. Mm -hmm. Then I fall asleep easily. Mm. And let's see, sometimes, también. in my case. In su caso, puede ser diferente, right? I wake up at night. Um, sometimes I exercise three times a week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have dinner with friends on the weekend. Never. I watch TV at night. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. I go to the library one day on. Mm, never. <laughs> it is too far. <laughs> never. I go away for vacation. Never. Mm, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. So I want you to write your sentences in the chat box. Las ocho oraciones utilizando eh, el adverb de, de frequency. Por ejemplo, in mi caso, write I. Sometimes get eight hours of sleep. Ok, vamos a hacer las ocho oraciones y las compartimos en chat box de Zoom. Ok, let's do it. Ocho oraciones usando los diferentes... Utilizando los diferentes adverbios right, que tenemos acá. Ok. Okay, no olvidemos agregar las opciones right? de eight sentences en un solo um, texto.
Ok, solo pedirles que si podemos escribir la información en un solo texto, right? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. I'm sorry, uh, I'm meeting with my family. You have a meeting, okay. Oh, did you finish? Um, in Camino, and yeah, away. You're on your way. Okay, okay. Okay, in perfect. Let me know when you are safe, okay? Okay. Okay. Ok. Hello, Alison. Veo que ya terminamos, Alison. Hello, teacher. Yes. Ok, so. Do me a... Ok, so let's do something. Ahora que ya terminó, le voy a pedir que describamos la rutina de Gabriela. Ok, de acuerdo a lo que ella escribió en el chat box. Ok, eh, read the. Uh -huh. uh, you have to use she write. O Gabriela. Ok, so. Three Gabriel, sentences. Ok. Uh -huh. Gabriela never gets eight hours of sleep at night. Uh -huh. She always falls. Falls. Uh -huh. Sleep easily. Easily. And she sometimes. Oh. And sometimes she watch TV at night. Watch it TV at she, night. Mm -hmm. She sometimes wakes. Mm -hmm. Wakes. Wakes up. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give uh, me no, one no, more. I, okay. Uh, she never exercises three times a week. Okay. Give me five, please. 
She never has dinner with friends on the weekend. Okay, perfect, Alison. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay, now you, Gabriela, please uh, describe uh, Alison's routine, please. Uh, From five to eight. Uh, Alison sometimes has dinner with friends on the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, she often watches TV at night. She never goes to the library one day month. Mm -hmm. and Alison never goes away for vacation. Okay, okay. Watches, right? Watches. She she often watches TV at night. Okay, perfect, Gabriela. Okay, let's listen to. Let's see. No tenemos terminado todavía. Okay. Okay. Um, Andrea, please. Can you describe? Uh, eh, veamos. Quizás la rutina de maybe. No tenemos una oración de maybe. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay. This thing is perfect. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay. Hagamos quizás las de Alejandra porque son las que ha escrito. Las que son más. Let's go. Alejandra. This one. Eh, Alejandra. Hmm? Alejandra sometimes get eight hours of sleep. Muy bien. Eh, Alejandra sometimes eh, falls Muy bien. A, a sleep easily. Okay. She sometimes falls asleep easily. Okay. Easy. Excellent. Thank you, Andrea. Now, let's see. Jonathan. Let's describe Cynthia's routine. Sorry, no. Can you say Jonathan? Oh, no, there you are. Okay. Can you describe Cynthia's routine, please? Cynthia sometimes gets eight hours of sleep. Very good. She never falls. Sleep easily. Mm -hmm. uh, Cynthia sometimes wake up night. Mm -hmm. uh, she sometimes exercise a week. Mm -hmm. uh, she sometimes diner. Ahí se nos envió un verbo por ahí. Sometimes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Dinner. Mm. Hace falta un verbo todavía. Sometimes. Have. Have or has. Dinner. Have or has. has. Yes, right. Has dinner. dinner. Mm -hmm. Has dinner with friends on the week. Mm -hmm. She usually watch TV at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jonathan, let's check. Veremos como estamos hablando de he, she, and it. Tenemos que hacer un énfasis. Yes. Gets, for example, falls, um, wakes, has, exercises, and so on. Okay, Jonathan? Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with one more. Can you describe, uh, let's see, um, Victor, please. Can you describe Roxana's routine? Okay, okay. Roxana. Describe from five to eight, please. Um, I sometimes. Estamos hablando de Roxana, right? Roxana. 
Y Roxana Ainson Times. No, Roxana Son Times. Roxana Son Times. Get a hours of sleep. Y. Um, y Roxana fall asleep y easy 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 lie easy lie sometimes easy lie sometimes y Roxana never wake up at night y Roxana eh, Hace dinero, dice. Hace dinero. Makes money. Hace dinero. Eh, with pen on the weekends, sometimes. Eh, Roxana usually exercise three times a week. Roxana watch TV at night, sometimes. Sometimes. Eh, Roxana never go to the library on day a month. Eh, Roxana usually go up I for vacation. Tenemos cuidado, Víctor, con el sonido de las S. Hablando de she, tenemos que decir, por ejemplo, goes, watches, exercises, eh, falls, por ejemplo, and gets. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Victor. Okay. And let's see. Is there somebody who wants to present <laughs> and to present the your partner's information? Present that partner's information. No. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. So. I don't know if you have questions. No sé si tengamos questions about the frequency adverbs, the rules that we have studied. No or yes. Teacher, en cualquiera de estas oraciones, no, bueno, yo en ninguna le, le encontré sentido para ponerle el verbo to be. No sé si en alguna se le, se le podría haber puesto. No. Depen como no, no le están dando acá el verbo to be, así que. We don't use it, right? Eh, fuera diferente si dijera I am I am on time weekend weekend okay. si hubiera agregado esa oración pero no, no tenemos ninguna oración que utilice el verbo to be, así que estamos bien ok so let's continue yes, Alison y un ejemplo del verbo to be en negativo con los frequent adverbs. Ok. Let's see. I am not. Not. Always. Oh, I am not. Always. On time. Okay, I am not always, right? Siempre se respeta. Se sigue el mismo formato de verbo to be en las and the frequency adverbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a good question, too. Okay, let's continue. Uh, with son mistakes, right? Tenemos que to avoid, evitar, to avoid. Recordemos the rules que hemos estado reinforcing that when we have he, she, or it, agregamos es al verbo dependiendo, right? De la terminación, the ending of the verb. En el caso que tengamos un sujeto plural, no le vamos a agregar es, se mantiene eh, no le vamos a agregar nada to the verb. Tenemos también que negative statements. Eh, use do not, don't, or doesn't. Y el verbo lo tenemos normal. No le vamos a agregar ese. Aunque estemos hablando de he, she, or it. Ok. And no, no vayamos a confundir, por ejemplo, eh, la negativa del verbo to be con el, 
con, el, con la forma normal de cualquier verbo. Por ejemplo, no debemos decir I don't be, ¿ok? No debemos decir I don't be, sino I am not, right? And, y lo que veíamos, ¿verdad? Desde un principio, no tener dos verbos, como el caso que tenemos acá, I am exercise. Okay, tenemos que eliminar el verbo to be, porque estamos utilizando el verbo exercise, tal como nos aparece acá. Ok, aquí está lo que hemos estudiado, right? Questions? Or are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so let's apply. Vamos a encontrar, we are going to find 10 mistakes. 10 mistakes in this paragraph. Okay, can you help me? Let's see, uh, Aler, to read Dennis, please. Vamos a encontrar 10 mistakes. Ok. Dear Pedro, uh -huh. who are you? I find I in Vermont with my aunt and uncle. They lie on a far. Ok, vamos a detenernos. Acá encontramos el error, right? Como estamos hablando de they, vamos a agregarle S. El verbo. Ese es uno, that is one. Ok, thank you, Dennis. Vamos con el siguiente. Can you help me to read? Let's see. Roxana, please. The title here. Here is very different. Continue. Mm, they are diary. Farmers who they are work hard every day. Ok, vamos a detenernos ahí. Is there any mistake? ¿Hay algún error? Is there any mistake? A diary. Mm -hmm. yes, very Farmers. Farmers. Diaries. Diary. Ok, diary. Farmers son los, eh, los, los que sacan okay. el right? So, what is the mistake? They are work. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ahí escuché. Mm -hmm. They are work. They are work. Tengo que quitar. What do I have to delete? Mm, they work. Tengo que quitar work? No, are. Ah, ok. That's right. No tengo que utilizar are. Excellent. They work hard every day. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. Can you help me? Emma, please. La siguiente razón. Can you help me? They usually get up at 4.30 a.m. Uh -huh. Continue. They go to the bar and milk the cows. Mm -hmm. Continue. Cows makes a lot of noise in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, so they usually wake up, wakes make up. Okay, tell me, is there a mistake? I am going wrong. Is there a mistake? Wakes. Oh yes, right. No debemos utilizar. Yeah, the letter is. Hay algún otro? Is there any other? Makes. That's right. Por qué? Mm, because it's day. Because <laughs> <laughs> goes are plural. That's right, Alison. That's right. We have cows. Exactly that. It is plural. Very good. I have a line, Alison. Okay, then we have the next one. Me ayuda, Alejandra. Can you help me? Of course. Of course, I do not um, get, get up. Pero en plural, get up. No sé cómo se llama. 
Gets up. Gets up. Mm-hmm. Uh, until. Mm-hmm. About. And. And. ¿Cómo se dice así la hora? A.M. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay. Hasta ahí no me sé quedar. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Is there a mistake? ¿Hay algún error? Is there a mistake? That's right. Como get, estoy utilizando I, no tengo que agregarle S to the verb. Okay. Okay, continue, please. The next one, Stephanie. At night. Ahorita, solo voy a poner a cargar mi computadora. Espérame, espérame. <laughs> okay. Okay. Espérame, espérame. Caballo okay. cuando usted me agarre en curva, fíjese, pero bueno. Ahí está. Okay, go okay. ahead. At night, my uncle cooked a wonderful breakfast. We all eat together. Okay, let's uh, stop there. Okay. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Okay. No problem. What is the mistake? Oh. Mm -hmm. What is the mistake? What is the mistake? In cook. Okay. Yes. Vamos a agregarle es. Porque estamos hablando de my uncle, right? Plural. Yes. No, uncle es singular, right? Uncle. Uncle que es. Le vamos a agregar S a cook. Uh -huh. Cooks. Ok, si tuviéramos, por ejemplo, que dijera my uncles con S, ahí sí no, ¿verdad? Dejaríamos de... Okay, let's continue with the next one. Can you help me? Maybe, please. We all eat together. We all eat together. Continue. After that, he and I go to the barn and was there my own usually say and they house it may be okay what are the mistakes what are the errors in that in those muy bien tenemos goes that's right works works muy bien works and I don't know is there any other Stay. 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 Muy bien. Vamos a agregarle ese, right? Ok. Al verbo stay. Ok. Sí. Ok. Let's do uh, one more time. Ok. Can you help me? At night. ¿Mm? José, estamos bien. Ok, no lo podemos hacer acá. Ok, tenemos at night, I am tired, so I always go to bed at 8.30. ¿Cuál es el error en that sentence? Go. Muy bien, vamos a quitar el eh, ES, right? Usually my aunt and uncle don't be Tired. They usually go to bed late. ¿Cuál es el error? They usually go. They usually go. La regla nos dice que cuando tengamos he, she, and it. Sería goes, Ay, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is one mistake. Late. B. It's R, not B. 
That's right. Veamos. Entonces, quito el B y le agrego el R. ¿Así? Yes. Don't R. It does. Don't say R. That's right, guys. Muy bien. Entonces sería aren't, right? Recordémonos de la regla. No tenemos que ocupar el don't o el doesn't con el verb to be. Ok. Good job. Questions? So this way we, we can learn, right? Ok, no questions? Ok, no. Ok, vámonos entonces. Vamos a trabajar to the breakout, in the breakout rooms. And you are going to present, you're going to work this activity with your partner. Tenemos acá la agenda, the agenda of Fit Sid, right? And Fat Jack. Ok, here you have their schedules, what they do in the morning, in the afternoon, and so on. So what you are going to do is you are going to describe their routine. For example, ¿qué es lo que ellos hacen at 8 a.m.? ¿Qué es lo que ellos hacen at 8 a.m.? ¿La descripción? Estamos hablando de sí. ¿Qué es lo que? Exactly. Entonces vamos a agregar la oración. At... At 8 a.m., Sid. Sid, ¿qué está haciendo? What is she doing? Exercise. What does she do? Sid, exercise, muy bien. Exercises. In the gym. In the gym. In the park. Okay. Based on the routine we have, vamos a hacer las oraciones, right? In the schedule. In this part, vamos a hacer sentences. Sentences. Tenemos, por ejemplo, Sid, like, bed, at, a. ¿Cómo podemos hacer la, la pregunta? The question. Este es un review. ¿Cómo podemos hacer la question? Does Sid, like, uh -huh. Does she lie in the bed at eight? Yeah, you said it's been right. Yes, you said it. Yes, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't, right? Dependiendo de la información que tengamos in the box. Okay, dependiendo de this one. Get home. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, questions? And teacher. Mm -hmm. En las primeras, eh, en eso, uh -huh. ¿sería ambas personas que aparecen o cómo sería para...? Okay. En la primera no está en el nombre, ¿verdad? En el caso de la segunda nos dicen que actividad está haciendo a esta hora. A ah, las okay, okay, okay. nueve, usted verifica, right, que tiene la rutina a las nueve. En este caso, sí, tiene rutina a las nueve y también Jack. Entonces, uh -huh. they walk, or we can say Sid walks school at 9 a.m., or Fa Jack goes to school. Or... En, en uh -huh. ese caso, ¿serían una misma oración o serían dos diferentes? Podemos Así como la una. segunda. Podemos tomar okay. una oración. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. So, let's go, guys. And um, let me know if you have questions, right, in this part. So, let's go.
ese teacher la va a poner uh -huh. en, el, en, sí, el, en el grupo. Ah, en uh -huh. el WhatsApp. Sí, en el WhatsApp, eh, ah, Stephanie. Okay. Ahorita se lo veo.
Hello, Raquel, what happened? Hello. No sé si tuvimos problemas. Okay, intentemos hola, hola. Intentemos nuevamente. Hola. ¿Tú, uh, hola, hola. Okay, intentemos nuevamente unirnos al grupo. Ok, ok, gracias. Bueno.
una. Pero ahí es en... Hello guys, hello Cynthia, Victor, Tennis. Hello. hello. Let's hello. see. Uh -huh. mm. Vemos a las nueve. Bye. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. About the... 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 I'm sorry? The... The little kid. The little... Oh, little C. Yeah. And... The C play football at 11 a.m.? C got to walk at school. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, in that um, is correct. Say, see it go to the high school wall. No. Okay, we have to use the pair that we have here. We have walk. And we have uh, the the object. So see it walks to school. What walks with s. Mm -hmm. At nine, okay. See, walks to school. Walks. 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 Mm -hmm. Walks. Sí. Muy bien. A A M. Walks. Agregamos K S. Walks. Mm -hmm. To school. At. o agregar a mí no saben ustedes teacher don't listen Por ejemplo, en la siguiente tenemos a las 11. ¿Qué es lo que ellos están haciendo a las 11? En el caso de sí, ¿qué está haciendo? Play fútbol. Play fútbol. Entonces, at. Y. Y. Agrega el verbo. Let's. Puedo decir también eh, si doesn't doesn't eat treats. Uh -huh. What is the Greek? I guess it is like some junk food. Creo que son como comida chatarra, junk food. Uh -huh. Turn it to the time and go to bed and sleep. Before we go to the sleep, 
only that. No se escucha, Ticha. No se escucha nada. Ahí está. Ahora, es que creo que tenemos interferencia con los audífonos, con los headphones. Ok, entonces me decía, y que no le alcanzó a escuchar, I'm sorry, I didn't miss it. Ah, ahorita. Uh -huh. En el caso de la de Time 22, de Go to the Sea en Go. Um, 22, okay, 22. Tell me. Uh -huh. Podríamos so, decir, we go to the F sleep. No, because. In, in the same time? No, because as if, you, if you see here, like for example, see it? Yes, she goes to bed. At this time, but but ah, okay. it doesn't go. So you can say at 22, uh, fat fat goes to sleep. No, no, no. Action? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah, okay. they are doing different actions. That's right, okay. different activities. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get it. Okay, perfect. So no more questions? Uh, and the questions. Mm. Do you mean this part? Yeah, this? in the in the two, the use the prompt to make the questions. You have to create questions. That's right, and also the answer based based on the on the information we have in the previous box, right? Mm -hmm. So based on this one, right, based on this information. So let's do number one. We have lie on bed at eight, and we are talking about seed. So let's create the question. ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? Sleep at like eight? Mm -mm. No. What is the auxiliary we use when we have a verb? Like, like in the bed. Go. Mm -hmm. We do. Go to bed eight. Do or does, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Does see I on bed at eight? PM, digamos, let's see. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué estamos utilizando that? Porque tenemos el verbo like. Si fuera el verbo to be, ya cambiaría. ¿Por qué estoy utilizando that? Porque estoy hablando de decir que es ella. Ok, ahora que ya tengo la pregunta, me voy a la, a la información. Like on bed tenemos. Veamos. Y nos dice que era las ocho, right? Ah. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Y acá tenemos la información. Estamos hablando de sí. ¿Qué es lo que ella hace a las ocho? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace a las ocho? Ah, ok. Entonces, tengo en que esta información no es cierta para ella. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿nos, qued ¿nos quedaría? No. She doesn't. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. She, she exercise. A esa hora. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, así es como vamos a hacer las, las preguntas. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya vi que se ni se me quedó así. 
es que me cuesta. <risas> ok, aquí estamos practicando mucho las preguntas. A lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's try to do it and call me if you have ex exercise. You have questions. <laughs> um, no um, more? Or let me know. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay, perfect. I let you work and uh, you can write me in the chat so I can help you when you want. Wash o washes. Creo que se le agrega la S. Teacher. <laughs> Hello, guys. Do you have do questions? They, do they wash it or do, do they wash? Estamos en la nueve de la, del, segundo, de, de la segun, del segundo ejercicio. Uh -huh. ¿Qué sujeto estamos usando? They, they, ellos. They. Mm. Entonces, ¿le puedo agregar la S? Eh. Um, creo que no. <risas> Exacto. Ok. Watch. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Do no they pregunto. watch? Do they watch TV? At... Perfect. Do they watch TV? At... Eh, nice. Nice. At 19. Uh -huh. What is the answer? Ok, entonces sería, ven eso, ¿no? ¿Verdad? No. 19. No. Uh -huh. Sería. No. No they do. No they. No they don't. 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 Ah, don't. don't they, no they don't. ¿Qué es lo que ellos hacen? What do they do? Eh, they play. They play. play computer play computer play. play uh, computer player. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. plays the computer? Jack or Steve? Uh, Both. 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 That's right. Okay. Yeah. There you have the answer. Perfect. Okay. Good job. What about the first part? Did you finish that part? Number one. Um, solo nos falta una para terminar la H de okay. la segunda parte. Okay, I let you work, guys. Then we finish. Okay, thank you.
Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, let's continue with some of the exercise. We're going to try to some of them. Okay, let's see. A letter B from the first part. Andrea, please help me. What do you have, Andrea? First part. Uh, the letter B, uh, she has, no, uh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. They have a mm -hmm. breakfast at 8.30 a.m. Okay, they have breakfast at 8.30 at a.m. Okay, perfect. Okay, what about number nine? Let's see, Wendy, what do you have, Wendy? Number nine. What do they do at nine? Or what does she do? At nine, she walks. Okay, at nine, she walks. Muy bien. Walks. Uh -huh. uh -huh. To school. Okay, perfect. She walks to school. Okay, guys, sorry. Vamos a detenernos para darles mucho tiempo. Y solo les paso la experiencia. And tomorrow, mañana, um, continuamos. Oh, my goodness. Okay, is here. Veamos, veamos. Alejandra, Alejandra, present. Present. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Have a good night, Alison. Alison. Present. Thank you, Alison. Have a good night. Muy bien. Yes. Most right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wendy. Yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Wendy. Victor. Thank you, Victor. See you. Present. Y Stephanie. Thank you. And Sofia. Sofia. Yes, there you are, Sofia. Present. Hey, Ruth, Veronica. Ruth, Ruth. No, hey, Roxana. Roxana. Present. Thank you. Raquel Beatriz. Raquel, Rachel. Present, teacher. Hey, thank you. Let's see, maybe. Está, yes, maybe. Present. José Luis Gómez, ok, thank you. Ahí Present. Está. Thank you, Jonathan. Ahí está, there you are, Jonathan. Thank you, Gabriela Beatriz. Present. Ok, Emma, Gloria. Present. Ok, thank you, Emma. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Where is Elizabeth? No, se me fue Elizabeth. Dora. Dora, no. Janice. Okay. Yep. Cynthia. Can you use Cynthia? Present. Okay, thank you. And Andrea Marilla. Andrea? Present. Okay. Present. Okay, guys, that's going to be all for today. Present. Much no, me no. Okay, I think no, me no. Karina. Karina. No, you have assistance, Karina. Okay, thank you, Karina. Thank you. Thank Have you. Good night, guys. Si alguien se quiere quedar, I'm going to be here for 10 minutes. Bye. Good night. And have a good night. 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 Bye. Sí. Vamos. Hello, hola, hola Raquel. Nos vamos a quedar.